day four of the UK's election campaign has passed and the first policy announcement from the Conservative Party is mandatory national service for 18-year-olds. As Prime Minister Rishi Sunak tries to shore up his Conservative base, Reform UK's honorary president and founder of the UK Independence Party, Nigel Farage, says the plan is unworkable. From Brexit to Boris Johnson's 2019 campaign, the targeting of older voters and those with more right-wing views can pay electoral dividends. Adopting the language of the army, Rishi Sunak is now trying something similar, proposing a new mandatory form of national service for all 18-year-olds. No, I'm not sending everyone off to join the army. A likely well, tough do, sell to younger voters, the Prime Minister trying to speak their language online. On the march in a target seat, the Shadow Chancellor deployed to reassure Tory voters on the economy. But on this Conservative plan, a brutal assault. They're not clear about how it's going to be funded. Uh, I think this morning the suggestion was that money was taken from this government's levelling up scheme, so taken out of local communities, to fund this new expensive gimmick. I don't think that's the right approach. Politics, patriotism and service, topics closely linked. But in this campaign, a raging battle on the right will loom large. While broader brush polling suggests national service is popular with traditional Tory voters, the detail presents a more mixed picture. That said, the electoral aim here is clear. Shore up the Tory base and stop voters going to other, more right-wing parties. Parties like this man's. Reform UK threatened to split the Conservative vote, its president showing he's prepared to rile and defend to land their message. We have a growing number of young people in this country who do not subscribe to British values, in fact, loathe much of what we stand for. So what do you do? Who are we talking about there? Oh, I think we see them on the streets of London every Saturday. What do they um, look like? Oh, we're talking about... What do they look like? Are we talking about Muslims here? We are. One Muslim group saying a battle on the political right risks causing harm to communities on the ground. I think it's this emboldened racism that we're seeing as a result of this very, very uh, divisive politics in which Muslims are again scapegoated. Right. So it's troubling and worrying, but also it has a real life impact and consequences for all of us. Given the prize at stake, neither party will retreat in this race for power. The next time MPs return here, politics will look very different.